everybody, Macy here. So for this week's video, I decided to share with you guys what is in my purse, mainly because it's been about a year since I last did this, and a few things have changed, so I decided to update it a little bit. Also, this video is sponsored by Fermu, which essentially is a company based on selling beautiful and affordable glasses online. They were even more generous when they said that my own subscribers can also get their own pair of glasses for $4.95, which is a pretty good deal considering that glasses can get pretty expensive. I will have a link to that deal in the description box below, so be sure to click it through that link because if you go on the actual Fermu website, it won't show up there, but if you go through this link, it will pop up for you and you get to choose from those different styles. So without further ado, let's get started. So my purse right here is from New York and Company and you may have seen it from last year's video. Essentially, it is just a plain black purse. So starting off with here, this is a portable charger, believe it or not. I don't know if you've seen this before, but it's from Buku, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's basically shaped like a pineapple, not a grenade as what some people would think it is. Here you can attach it outside and just easily plug in your charger and it's charging already. So the first thing in my bag is my iPad mini and I know that's kind of weird, like why do you have an iPad in your bag? But most of my textbooks are in my iPad, very small and compact. Next up in my purse is my wallet, and this is a regular plain black wallet. I actually bought it from Amazon, and I actually switched wallets mainly because I wanted an RFID blocking wallet. Like nowadays, it's really popular for identity theft to happen just outside, like people will actually have some kind of thing. I don't know what it's called, I'm sorry, I'm tired today. I just, I had a lot to do. And they'll have some kind of machine, small portable thing that will actually get your credit card information, debit card information, etc. If you don't have that really strong RFID blocking thing <laughs> in your wallet, they might be able to get your information and you wouldn't even know it. I actually have a Sharpie with me most of the time wherever I go is because living in Los Angeles, you are bound to run into some kind of famous person, whether it's an A-list celebrity or maybe like a YouTuber, etc. And you want to be prepared, so you just whip out that Sharpie and ask for an autograph. I'm annoying, I know. <laughs> Moving on, I also have a phone charger, and it's the regular basic phone charger that comes with the iPhone. Self-explanatory. In my purse, I also have an EOS lip balm because if I don't put on lip balm throughout the day, my lips get chapped and my eczema flares up. I also have a generic sanitizer. I actually got this from school when they had like a finals week and they were giving out free hand sanitizer and I had to get it because free stuff. Like, Essentially, I have to have hand sanitizer wherever I go because if I'm feeling a little bit icky and I have no access to a sink immediately, I have some hand sanitizer. In addition to my hand sanitizer, I have a Ziploc full of little hand towelettes, hand wipes that are individually packaged because I they're free. <laughs> Again, <laughs> if I don't have access to a sink nearby, I can use these to just wipe off like some of the surface grime on my hands before I eat. Next up are my keys and my lanyard, and I actually got this lanyard from VidCon. Basically, it's just my house keys and my P.O. box. Next up in my purse, I also have some pepper spray, and I know it's kind of weird, like, why do you have pepper spray? Actually, it's really not that weird. If you're walking alone at night, which I definitely recommend that you don't do, you need to have some kind of self-defense protection with you, whether that is a small taser or like one of those little buttons that, little buttons, one of those clickers that makes like a really loud noise that just draws attention to you. It may help you when you really need it. I also have my earbud organizer as well as my earbuds, obviously. Just in case you're in a loud place that it's really hard to hear if you're on a phone call, it really helps having some kind of earbuds with you because it does help direct 
the noise towards your ears a little bit more. At least for me it does. And finally, I have my phone. Obviously, I will have my phone. <laughs> So that is basically it for this week's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel as well as hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new uploads. Don't forget to check out that link down in the description box below so you can get your own pair of glasses from Firmu for $4.95. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye!